What's up guys? My name is Peter Joseph Kuhn from Boston, Massachusetts, and I will be your foreign host today. Hi Peter, welcome to the show. My name is Juan. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 So what are we going to talk about today? So we're going to talk about the word "cry" and some idioms and phrases with the word、uh, "cry" in it. Ah,、oh, sounds cool, Peter. I, I like. I know one idiom called "cry enough." Yep, that's not, that, that's right.、Uh, "Cry enough" is like to admit or acknowledge defeat、oh. that you have been defeated. Ah,、um, oh, 认输 right? Yeah.、Mm. Exactly.、Mm. Um, But an even better idiom with the word "cry" is "cry wolf." Cry wolf? What does、uh, it mean?、Uh, it is very interesting. It comes from a story that most people know about the boy who cried wolf. Who cried wolf? That's correct.、Mm. So the definition of "cry wolf" is to keep asking for help when you don't actually need it,、mm. with the result that people think you don't need help when you actually do need it. Ah.、Oh. So I'm just gonna give you a short version of the story of the boy who cried wolf, just、mm. so you know the general idea of、uh, crying wolf. So there's a shepherd boy who repeatedly tricks nearby villagers into thinking wolves are attacking his flock of sheep.、Mm. So he calls for help, and they come running to help save the boy and the flock of sheep.、Mm. But when the villagers arrive, there is no wolf to be seen. So this happens a couple times, and then finally one day a wolf actually does appear,、oh. and the boy again calls for help. This time actually needing it,、mm. so、uh, the villagers don't come, and then the sheep are actually eaten by the wolf.、Oh. So the moral of the story is: don't ask for help when you don't actually need it, because when you do need it, they won't come. Yeah, in China, I think we have the exactly same story. It's called the Lang Lai Le. Oh,、ah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So basically, everyone knows this story, even、mm-hmm. toddlers. Oh, so okay. So the English version will be the crying wolf. Right. Hmm. It's a good.、Uh, it's a good moral. Mm, it's、learn. a good moral, yeah. Absolutely. Always to be honest. Right.、Mm. So another good term that I use often is "don't cry over spilt milk."、Mm. So this means to not complain or grope over small accidents.、Ah. So, for example, I could say to my girlfriend when she is complaining about like losing a small piece of jewelry or something, I can just say, "No need to cry over spilled milk. You know, r- relax. You'll find it later. No、mm-hmm. need to cry over spilled milk." So do not cry over spilled milk. This spilled 就是洒出去了的意思，是非常形象的一个短语，就是不要为了打翻的牛奶去哭泣，不要为小事伤心啦。Yeah. 所以，比如说 Peter 的女朋友丢了项链，对吧？你就可以这样安慰她。So way to comfort her. Exactly. 嗯、mm.。Um, or you know, if someone's yelling at you because you did something <laughs> wrong, you could also say, "Oh, don't cry over spilled milk,"、uh, something like that.、Mm. So、uh, yeah, I say this a lot and often because、um, people get so upset over such little things these、mm. days, and it's a good expression to say to people when something bad happens.、Mm. You know, don't cry over spilled milk; it's gonna be okay. 对，所以就是当你朋友遇到什么倒霉事的时候，都可以这么安慰啊，对吧？对、mm-hmm. ，Don't cry over the spilled milk. So you like bygones be bygones. Mm-hmm. 不要为了这些不可挽回的事情难过了，就让它过去吧。Yeah. 嗯、mm, ，there there.、Mm. Uh, another expression in English is to cry your eyes out.、Oh, so this just means yeah, this just means to cry a lot or to cry hard.、Mm. Um, another similar expression is to cry your heart out.、Mm. So that you know that has a similar meaning to cry your eyes out. 对，所以就是一对形容人就是哭的非常的惨，把眼睛都哭出来了，或者是把心都哭出来了，对吧、yes. ？Cry your eyes， 或者是 cry your heart out. Yeah,、mm. it's like crying so much that your heart explodes out of your body or something <laughs> like that. How miserable could that be? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs>、mm. Uh, another idiom that we have in English is、um, "crying shame." So this is an interesting expression because it doesn't have anything to do with crying. Actually,、mm. what it means is just what a pity.、Mm. So it is just emphasizing 
a way of saying uh, a very unfortunate event. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you failed a, a test in school, I would say to you, "Oh, what a crying shame!" Ah, so this crying shame, actually, with cry, it has no relationship. It basically means it is a shame. No relationship. Yeah. So this, and this shame, you need to pay attention. It actually has no relationship with cry. It means it is sad. It is a pity. Yeah. And crying here is an adjective. Yeah. It means it is strong. Okay. So if your, for example, a very important test has failed, and then 别人就会说，哦，我的 crying shame， 太遗憾了，错过了什么东西，比如说我错过了一个。我一个喜欢的歌手的一个演唱会 ，It's a crying shame. Ah,、uh, right, excellent,、mm. 非常好。嗯。呃 ，And the last idiom I would like to introduce to you is a far cry. Can you guess what that means? Far cry. Uh huh. <laughs> 多远一点哭吗？哈哈哈哈哈哈。Uh, no, it means something very different from another thing. Ah.、Oh. So, for example, you went to Italy for vacation. I thought you said you wanted to go to Asia. Paris is a far cry from Thailand. Ah, so this meaning, so this far cry is two things that are very different, right? For example, this Paris, this and Thailand, the difference in height, right? Yes. Yeah. So the difference in height. So, for example, they are different. 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 Well,、uh, those are all the best idioms I can share with you today.、Uh, although there are some more obscure ones、uh, with the word "cry" in them. So, hope you enjoyed learning some idioms with the word "cry" in them. And I will see you guys all on the next Morning English podcast. Thank you for sharing with us, Peter. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Important, and see you next time. All right, guys. See ya.